Hey there guys, how's it going? Jesus Quesadilla here, bringing you more Grand Theft Auto 5. Glad to have you back, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me again here today. In the previous episode, we got to do a mission for Franklin that really wasn't a mission for Franklin, but you know, whatever, it's all a good time. Regardless who we play as, it's, it's always a good time in GTA 5, right? But uh, today we're back here with Trevor, because I think he's actually the only person who I have left to do missions with for the time being. And uh, I think it's time we get started on our next heist of the game, because we've only done one so far. And um, we've actually had access to the second one for a while, but I want to get some of the other story missions out of the way first. Um, I think we've done that pretty sufficiently, at least for now. So we're going to go ahead and run up here, and we're going to go ahead and start scouting out our new location for the second heist of the game. So pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, if you remember, we came here in a... Trashed, uh, trashed this dude's house <laughs> just because he happens to know Floyd. But but the thing is, um, I've been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And uh, the fuck is on the TV there? Jeez. That's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating. There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa, whoa. Now, Mr. Oh my god, Trevor, you sick fuck. He died a noble death. <laughs> Bringing great joy. Oh my god, skull fucked into oblivion. Oh, jeez. Nice underwear. Face. Some girls laugh when they when they look at it. Wow. Yikes. Show me. This just got all kinds of awkward. Oh, well, there you go. Trevor just flopping his dick out. All right. Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Yes. Look at me. Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Oh my God! I came. Just like the the gaudy leg tattoos make that so much better. Anything interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I don't rightly rightly know. What kind of person are you? I'm that kind. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you really are. You, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. All right, sounds good. Ah, oh, cool. We're going to be doing some uh, construction or something. <laughs> All right, time to ride out. So I think we're going to be going out to where uh, Floyd works, actually, to scout out some uh, possibilities. Uh, yeah, Pier 400. We're going to go down to the dock and see what we can possibly lift from there. Because he always got a lot of precious cargo, imports and exports and all that good jazz. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and head on out that way. But uh, it's good to see you guys. Uh, well, I mean, I can't see you guys, but you know what I mean. You get the gist of what I'm going for here. It's good to uh, be here for y'all, and I uh, hope your day's going well. Mine's going pretty well, I have to say. I mean, I'm playing Grand Theft Auto, when is that never a good day? Alright, let's go ahead and head out this way. This, um, I'm kind of debating which way I want to handle this heist. I know we haven't seen the full details yet, but most heists have at least two ways you can tackle them. And I'm wondering if I'm going to stick with the way I did the first time I played this game, or if I'm going to try something new. I guess we'll, we'll see, we'll see. There's also a possibility I can always go back and replay the uh, the heist a second time through with whatever alternative method we didn't use um, for the LP. Let's go ahead and get around these guys. How you doing back there in the back, Wade? Hanging tight? Alright, good. But yeah, some exciting stuff. Uh, I think I mentioned previously that uh, I got my tickets to PAX in a previous episode. Just wanted to bring that up again, I guess. But I'm excited for that. Last year's PAX was pretty amazing. I got a lot of really cool stuff. I've actually been meaning to make a video. Actually, I might do this now, now that I have some free time. I've been meaning to make a video kind of just showing off some of the stuff I got at that PAX. Just because I got a lot of really cool stuff. I got a lot of autograph crap from uh, uh, Sakaguchi, the developer behind Final Fantasy. At least the first, I think, ten games. I got him to autograph some stuff. I went to a panel for him, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then I also got to meet Tim Schafer, which was fucking amazing! Tim Schafer just randomly happened to be at PAX. 
It's pretty cool. I guess it wasn't random, but, you know, I happened to randomly bump into him. It's kind of neat. I'm sure he doesn't remember me. Tim, if you're out there, I love you. I love everything you do. You're a god of a man. Everything you touch turns to gold. I still need to get around to playing Broken Age. It's the, uh, the Double Fine Kickstarter-backed project. I think they use Kickstarter. One, one of those crowd-sourcing funding service things. I don't even know. I'm not hip to all the trends of the youth of today. Alright. Let's go ahead and park. Maybe we should be behaving fairly normally here. Don't drive too erratically now, Trevor. The soup? Where's the salad? Heh. Real wrong, real quick. Yeah, really can. Especially when we're involved. I don't think we should be operating any heavy machinery, really. Oh no, sewage. Oh, poor Wade. Sucks for him. Better him than me, though. Follow Floyd? I know where the fuck I'm going. Fuck you, Floyd. Alright. Yeah, love. It's not going to be the most terribly interesting mission, because we're just kind of scouting things out. If you remember the Julie Hor- uh, The Julie Hor- I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. You remember the uh, Jewelry Store Heist? Um, it's basically going to be like another one of those scouting missions where you kind of just get like the lay of the land. Take some photos so you can plan your routes and what it is you're even going to steal in the first place. Because Trevor doesn't rightfully know. Not quite sure what it is we're taking yet, but trust me, it's going to be something good. It's actually kind of crazy, which is totally in line with Trevor, so that's good. Man, I can't even imagine working on a dock like this. Actually, anytime I see like dock working like this, I think of Shenmue, and I just want them to make Shenmue 3. Why have they not made Shenmue 3? This boggles my mind that they haven't made Shenmue 3. It would be the easiest cash grab. Just like an HD remake of Final Fantasy 7. Why does that not exist? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. Man, I haven't played Shenmue in a really long time. I wonder how it still holds up. I would imagine probably not too terrifically well. It seems like one of those games that probably didn't age tremendously great. Maybe the second game aged a little better. Um... I don't know if people are interested in seeing me LP those, but they're pretty fun games. They're... they're interesting. Really... perfected... Or I hesitate to say perfected, but are notorious for the quick time events and all that stuff, but... Otherwise, pretty good games. Alright, oh cool. The only thing I said about heavy machinery, I do not think I am certified to handle this, but I will try my darndest. Alright, yeah, so you can lower and raise the thing with... something. Try not to run anybody over. Careful, Trevor's driving the huge truck. Everybody better move the fuck out of the way. Alright, so we got a couple things to do here just so we don't blow our cover. Uh, we're pre pretending to be dock workers for a little bit just so we can get a chance to kind of like look at everything. So we're actually just going to have to do some dock work around here. Nothing too terribly exciting, but you know, it's an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. There's something to be said for that. There's actually not really a whole lot to be said for that, it doesn't really matter. Not in Grand Theft Auto, anyway. Overall, let's just, uh, you know, be really careful and gentle with the goods here. The game does a pretty good job of snapping things to place, which I'm very grateful for, because I cannot line things up like that worth a shit. I really can't. <laughs> in my hands, it could be a toy. It could totally be a toy. I would cause so much mayhem and destruction with this, you have no idea. I have so much fun just running people down with this. Actually, that reminds me, in San Andreas, you know, I don't know if they brought it back in this game. I'm pretty sure they didn't, but one of my favorite vehicles in San Andreas, um, if you saw my LP of that, I probably mentioned, is the uh, the Harvester. Um, just for, like, getting, like, crops and stuff. Which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, better view of that freighter. Well, I need to get that out of the box first. But the Harvester uh, that you get for, I want to say the truth? I'm pretty sure it's a mission that you take from the truth. Uh, that's probably my favorite vehicle in the game. I love just driving around, mowing people down with that, and... It's spitting out, like, the little, like, meat sacks instead of hay bales. It's always a lot of fun. That's actually why I'm really excited to try and get, uh... I need to get a new PC build, because my current PC definitely cannot play GTA V. Um, it's really sad, actually. I want to play with all the mods and everything that people have been developing. But, in due time, once I get moved into my new apartment situated a bit, I'll start saving up for a new PC build, and then 
maybe I'll be able to do some of that, which would be pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, I've just seen some of the ridiculous stuff people have been able to do. It really feels more like San Andreas that way, I don't know. I feel like San Andreas had the perfect balance of, like, quirky, weird shit to do, and, like, kind of... not. I, I would not call it a serious story by any means, but I mean something that's not, like, spectacularly goofy, like Saints Row. You know, I like Saints Row 3 and 4, but I feel like they departed way too much from being just crime games. Like, I, I think Saints Row 2 was kind of the peak for the series, and like 3 and 4 are okay, but they're definitely very different, and I don't know that I like them as much. They're, like, Saints Row 4 is basically a superhero game, more than anything else. It's really weird. It feels like it has more in common with, like, like I don't know, Infamous or something like that than Grand Theft Auto, which is really bizarre. Um, it's like a weird, like, bastard child of Grand Theft Auto and Infamous, I guess. With, like, tons of crazy humor. I mean, it's still a good game, but, you know. I definitely don't imagine myself ever replaying it. Grand Theft Auto V, I mean, I've, this is probably, like, my second full playthrough that I'm going to be trying, but it's my third at least partial playthrough. I keep coming back to this game a lot. I really love it. But let's go ahead and climb on up here. See if we can't get ourselves a nicer view. My god, Trevor, I do not know how you handle those heights. Actually, yeah. Oh boy, that is that is something. God, the water is gorgeous, though. Anyway, enough admiring the water. Uh, I need to do what now? Need my help with something, sir? What you need me to do? Where do you need me? How the hell do I get over there? How the hell do I get over there? Uh, this is so much harder to navigate in first person. Uh, looks like I just gotta go here, maybe? Oh my god, this is so disorienting. Good god. Whoa, this is weird. I feel like I'm in, like, what, what even is that? It's like a battle station. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's change the view. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. So you can move the cabin. And then, can I... Ooh, I can. I can also raise and lower that. Uh, is that about where I want it? I have no idea how to line this up. I'm gonna assume that's good. Sweet! Okay, we're gonna bring it over. Alright, so this isn't too bad. This is a lot easier than using that forklift thing. Uh, as I remember, there was a there was a side mission kind of like this in San Andreas, where you had to like move some crates down at the docks in San Fierro. I'd actually never played that side mission, but I vaguely remember it. Very vaguely. I didn't play it for the Let's Play, is what I mean. Alright. Speaking of, like, side mission stuff, I'm kind of deciding how it is I want to handle the, uh... the Strangers and Freaks missions for this game. Uh, if you guys don't already know, I, I think I've probably already mentioned this at least once, but the Strangers and Freaks missions are totally optional, other than the one you have to do with Franklin at the start of the game. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to, like, save those till the end of the Let's Play, and maybe, like, do them as, like, a bonus episode type of thing. Um, if people are interested in that, but I guess we'll see. Alright, and then let's go ahead and grab it. Yeah, I did not have that centered correctly at all. The game just did all the work for me there, I swear. Oh, oh, no, let's not knock everything over. It'd be good if we did destroy everything on our one day on the job. Alright. Move along like I know you do. My god. Alright, let's... Oh wow, you can really bring it up close. That's a little too close for comfort. My gosh. Alright, and then... Is that good? Are we good? What we doing? What we doing? The union. I love that. Oh man. Oh wow. Oh, I just love that cover. I'm gonna go take some shots for my son. That's actually a pretty good cover, because otherwise they'd be like, dude, why the fuck are you taking photos, right? Alright, take some good pictures of the boat. Sure, why not? No. Yeah, yeah. Let me call Chang Jr. right now. I'm sure he'd love to hear me. Alright. The front of the ship? Is this good? Like... Like that? Upload this to my Instagram. Alright, take a photo of the guard on the boat of the ship. 
Is that a guard? I mean, that looks like one. There's one over there, too, who's actually, like, holding a gun, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a picture of that guy. Hopefully that counts. He's got his back turned to me. Yeah, take a long shot of the back of the ship? Sure, I can totally do that. Oh, what? You can put filters on it? That's cool. That's so fucking rad. Uh, pfft. I don't really need to... Yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and, uh... That's nice! <laughs> yeah! Let's get it, Ron. How, how do you like that? How do you like my, how do you like my editing on those? That's, that's beautiful. Access the camera and use it. Oh, send the images to Ron. How doth I do that? How do I send the images to Ron? How do I send the images to Ron? Uh, text? Ron. How do I... Oh my god, how do I do this? Did I fuck up? Where's Ron? Ron! No, I don't... No, I don't need to call him. How do I send him the pictures? Uh... This is so hard, I can't figure out the new iPhone. Send photos. Oh, there we go. Dang, that was not so difficult. The hardest part of this mission was how to use a fucking phone. That's great. Alright, well that's all well and good. Let's go ahead and get down now. Oh jeez. Oh, oh my god, that is really unsettling. Alright, let's- oh my god, I just feel like I'm gonna fall the way down. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay! Fuck. Shit. That was terrifying. My god, well we got some craziness today at least, my gosh. Oh my god, it's just gonna put me down at the bottom, thanks. Don't, don't make me suffer through that again. Get in what truck? In this truck? Oh wow, so this is what it's like to get inside of an 18-wheeler. Never been inside of one, I guess that's kind of an interesting experience. Probably don't want to be in first-person mode for that though. I already have a hard enough time driving as it is. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Is... what's his name actually with me? Okay, he is. That's cool. Uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Move your ass. Alright. Now he's gonna give relationship advice to poor Floyd. Uh, he probably needs it, I just don't know that Trevor's the one to get it from, honestly. <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of a funny series. Relationship counseling with Trevor Phillips. I can get into that. Alright, let's see. Go to the Coke storage. That's where we store all of our cocaine, apparently. That's cool. Oh my god, move your ass. Ugh. Oh my god. So much security here. They gotta be hiding something good. Alright. And I think once we're here, we're going to be stealing some intel, if I'm not completely wrong. There's actually a fairly long uh, scoping out mission, just, just because it's like over the course of this entire dock. Also, sorry for hitting your truck there, buddy. Alright, where do I want to go? Oh my god, just move! Just move! I don't have time for your bullshit. Am I actually taking the cargo in this somewhere, or is this just for cover? Hi, hey, hey. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, don't, don't mind me. I, I'm, no, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk, I'm just really bad at driving. Just really, really bad at driving. Yo, what's up, Call of Duty? Ramirez! <laughs> okay, yeah, that's totally called for. Just beat the ever-loving shit out of this random dude. That's the military for you. Actually, it's not even military. It's, uh... Isn't this just, like, private? It's, it's like a mercenary group, I think. Merryweather, yeah. 
All right, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't know how they didn't notice me grabbing this gigantic briefcase full of documents. All right, where's a car I can take that's a little more inconspicuous? I mean, there doesn't really seem to be one. I also don't want to jack a car right in front of these dudes, but... That might be my only real alternative. Get back here! Come on, come on! I, I, I need a ride! I need a ride! Catch a ride! Come on, man. Let me, let me, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, come on. No, come on! Just wait. Just wait. Ugh, let me carjack you. Why aren't you slowing down so I can carjack you? That's what I'm talking about. Trevor, What's up, Ron? Photos. You've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of Yeah, okay, over. sounds good. Let's get me, whatever the hell it is. Container below deck. They're guarding it. Container below deck. Okay. Serious military technology. That's what I'm talking about. So either we can sell it or we can use it. Personally, I'd kind of want to use it. But that's just the the inner mercenary in me wanting to go all crazy. All right, and now I think we just gotta take our shit back over to Floyd's house, which I can't believe his girlfriend has been out this long. It's kind of crazy, actually. Uh, what's the best way to get back there? Probably what the GPS is telling me to do. Usually a good idea to remember that. Whoa, I just realized, like, the light from the controller. Oh, that's so weird. I'm just completely <laughs> spacing out, not even paying attention to the mission. Oh. It's actually really cool when the cops are after you, it like, lights up with, like, the police lights. I don't know, it's kind of neat. It's the simple things in life that give you pleasure. It's always the simple things. Alright. And I'm thinking about the way I want to do this mission. I think I'm going to do the thing that requires the, le the least amount of prep work. Well... See, I could do it that way, but then we miss out on using a submarine, which is kind of a cool vehicle. You know what, I'm going to do the method that allows us to use a submarine, because that's actually the way I kind of want to do this. It's the way I did it the first time I played the game. That's the only reason I didn't want to do it, but I'm thinking it's actually the more interesting way. Anyway, it'll make more sense once we actually get back to the place. I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, but it's an exciting heist. Alright. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of heists, now that there are heists up on GTA Online, I really gotta check that out. I'm making a point to uh, probably... I don't want to make too big of a promise, but at some point I'm going to sit down to do a recording session of GTA Online, so that's definitely on the books to happen soon. Um, but I don't really know how I want to do that in terms of like playing with other people, because I don't have a lot of people added that I could play with. I don't have, like, a really good setup for recording while also, like, using a headset, so I wouldn't really be able to talk to people anyway. But some GTA Online is definitely around the corner, especially with heists. I, I want to try a heist out really badly online. Seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Alright. Why do you have to live so goddamn far away from where you work, Floyd? You gotta make that commute every day? <sighs> All right, and yeah, you know, just go off the road. <laughs> no one gives a damn, especially not me. Damn, I can't believe I didn't hit anything there. I'm getting a little bit better at this. I'm, I'm getting back into the swing of things. You know, only my second recording session back, but I'm, I'm starting to not completely fail at driving. It's probably a good thing, because it's only going to get harder from here on out. All right. And let's go ahead and head back upstairs. Also, I just realized we left we left Wade behind. He's just cleaning toilets still, I think. That's real cool. Glad to see that's how you treat your friends, Trevor. Alright, just I love I love his walking animation going up these stairs. It's so goddamn goofy. He like he like skips merrily. I don't know, it just looks funny to me for some reason. Alright. Live, love, laugh. Lol. So funny. Oh my god, Floyd, or not Floyd, Wade, holy shit, dude. Quite literally, holy shit. Oh no. Oh man, that sucks. I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, you give give Pop a hug, just just not too close. Oh, oh geez, you got shit on my shirt now. That's cool. Oh my god. 
Yeah, well, fuck this shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's a low self esteem, Wade. We got to build him back up. Where are you, Dr. Phil now? Dr. Trevor? What you looking at there, Wade? Oh, okay. He just doesn't get what we're going for here. All right, so let's see the approaches we can take. On my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. Oh yeah. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. All right, all right. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Oh yeah, for sure. Now, you know what, I totally want to go for that. Coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. Okay. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? Chicago? Where else? Alright, <laughs> so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's on? Alright, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go with option B, because I do want to use the submarine there. I want to live in a yellow submarine. Deep sea adventure, gotta be. All right, sounds good. Let's go ahead and go for that. Go for it. Michael and his unpaid intern. You okay? All right. What is that smell? Oh, it's your house being completely destroyed. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the Union. You are Union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man! Smell him! No. Smell him! My gosh. Oh, Trevor, Trevor. It's horrible. You're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Oh, shit. My lady and my Union. That's all I got. That's really sad, dude. That's actually kind of pathetic. If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! Dude, you need it, trust me. A little time lapse? Okay. Let's go down there. Yeah, just kicking back, watching some television. All right, sounds good. All right, hey, Trevor Phillips Industries now planning our first heist. Well, our second heist total of the game, but the first one for Trevor anyway. All right, scouting the port, sweet beans. So, I think in the next episode, we're probably going to start working on getting all that stuff together, getting the helicopter and getting the uh, the submarine so we can actually do the heist. But first, we're going to call Michael, clue him onto it. here in LS really settling in getting my first enema tomorrow <laughs> anyway I heard about some action yeah huh yeah okay oh you bet it's just okay take a look at that Listen, bald spot hmm it's nice so it's looking pretty tasty I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with Franklin oh yeah oh and how's your flying you might need to take a few classes at flight school why would I need to do that? Uh, take a guess. You'll You're gonna be flying, dude. Don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. Oh my god, what the fuck did he put up on that? Yeah, Deborah's a bitch. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Once again, thank you for joining me. Uh, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, and if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to subscribe to me if you've not already done so, and that way you can stay up to date on all my future postings. But, besides all of that jazz... All that jazz. Uh, it's been a blast. And until the next one, maybe we'll hang up with Lamar. Um, but until the next one, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace. Oh, God. Press right to play with Mr. Raspberry Jam. Why? Oh, no. Why the fuck is this in the game? If you want to do that, we're going to need a safe one. Oh, my God. Dude, clean that thing. Oh,
Okay. Oh, all right, all right. Um, I kind of regret that. <laughs> oh, my sweet Jesus. Why is this a thing? All right, that's 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 thoroughly disturbing. Good, good, to, good to know. Good to know I can do that. So much fun. So many good times.